What's up, everybody? Welcome to Disrupt You episode 40. 49 or 50. Oh, Just roll with it. Pause, 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 pause. Gray this part out or something. All right. Uh, I don't even know where I go. Even where I'm going, going to YouTube. Now. The Sean's out there, like, burp schnarting. I sneeze, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all that was? Yeah, I tried to hold it in. <laughs> Alright, we gotta stop all over. We gotta yeah. start the whole flocking thing. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Disrupt You, episode 47. I'm Ryan Thogmartin, and this is the internet's only funeral marketing web show. We're back in the saddle. We have been traveling over the last two and a half months to various conventions, speaking opportunities, a little bit of family vacation time mixed in there as well. Uh, I'm happy to be back. Check out our new background. Uh, shout out to my main man, Brian Waters, for hooking us up with the Dingleberry shirt. If you do not understand the meaning behind dingleberry, uh, then you don't go to the dictionary or thesaurus or Google it. Go to our YouTube and find our mean internet comments video. Watch that, you'll understand dingleberry. Is there some way to link that video? Like, link it, link it, fine. Click here and link out and watch that video and then come back if you don't understand the dingleberry reference. Okay. Happy to be back. Three fire questions. Here we go. Question number one. Oh. Gosh, dang it. Where's the picture at? Or picture, where's the question? All right, here we go. What if Facebook goes away? Oh, uh, this is an interesting com question because this is an actual fear that funeral directors have. What if we invest all of this money into Facebook and then Facebook just goes away and isn't relevant anymore. Um, who cares? It's a, it's a very simple answer. Who gives a crap? We are not pitching held to Facebook, like needing Facebook to be able to grow business. We are leveraging Facebook to be able to grow business. If Facebook goes away, that's fine. 2.2 billion people every month that engage on the platform will go somewhere else. There are 1.4 billion people every single day that log on to Facebook across the globe. Anywhere that there are 1.4 billion people every single day engaging on that platform and you've got the ability to create content to be in front of them, you absolutely should be there. So if Facebook goes away tomorrow, is wiped off the face of the map to never exist again, who gives an F because there will be something else where all of that attention will go and then it'll make sense for you as a funeral home to be engaging on that platform and marketing to that consumer. So Facebook is not the, the relationship of, it, it, it's not where we're putting all our bet is on Facebook the company, we're putting all our money into the platform and the engagement because of the audience that's there. It could be Instagram, it could be Roadbook, it could be whatever, if there's 1.4 billion people engaging there every single day and your demographic that we wanna engage that's most profitable for a funeral home is engaging there, then you should absolutely, absolutely be there as well. So, who cares? All right, question two. That was a very nice flight. Very nice. Is Instagram there yet? This is another uh, interesting conversation. And the first thing I wanna say about this is there's a fundamental problem when the majority of people asking this question uh, are funeral homes that aren't winning on Facebook yet. So stop worrying about what other platforms are there and start winning on the platforms that are already there. And there's, again, 1.4 billion people every single day engaging on the platform and there's tremendous upside if you do it correctly. So is Instagram there yet? 
No. Does Instagram need to be on your radar if you're engaging in a Facebook strategy and you're winning on Facebook and you're driving leads through Facebook? Yes, Instagram should be on the radar because that is where the demographic as they shift from Facebook or start adopting other networks outside of Facebook as well. That 45 to 65 year old isn't fully present on Instagram like they are on Facebook. So most of the time we're dealing with limited funds and limited marketing dollars. So it makes more sense to go all in on Facebook because there's the largest return and upside there. Does it make sense to create content on Instagram and start playing on that platform so you understand it and understand attention? Yes, because Instagram absolutely grabs attention and users that spend time on Instagram are seeding deeper relationships with a brand, not like the relationships like comment back and forth like you have on Facebook, but just awareness of a brand and engagement with a brand that builds that brand awareness and the relationship from a brand standpoint and awareness standpoint because of the attention that's given to a single post that loads on the screen at one time. So there is a lot of value in Instagram. It's not fully there yet from the standpoint of the demographic a funeral home wants to engage with most. But if we look at the demographic that is most engaged, that 25 to 35 year old, that larger growing demographic there, that is value because that's the millennial demographic that is going to be eventually planning funerals for parents and that's who you're going to need to market to and win that attention so instagram super valuable but if you're not winning on facebook yet like let's focus on facebook and win there and start building an audience and then leverage that for growth onto instagram okay spud me i mean now we're getting serious rollerblades why do we even have rollerblades at the office Tiso. Tiso. Josh, what, why do you have rollerblades? Help with filming. Help yeah, with help filming. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right, when does social media become effective? Oh boy, this is a great topic as well because there is a misconception that Facebook is something that you you invest for six or 12 months into building a Facebook presence and then you don't have to invest any more money and it just is or grant organic and flurries and flourishes and creates a lot of organic engagement. It's super valuable and, or you just pull the plug on it and go a different direction. Facebook absolutely takes time. Social media takes time. Because if you look at the fundamentals of Facebook, the reason Facebook was created was to connect people. This isn't an engagement and relationship tool. This is not a sales platform. The byproduct of building good relationships and having transparency and having trust in the engagement with the consumer to build that is the ability to then sell and leverage those relationships and leverage that trust to sell a product. It's not a sales first network, it's an engagement network. And engagement and building relationship isn't something that you only invest six months in and then stop. So if you're investing money into Facebook and you're not seeing results, one, you're probably doing it wrong and you need to figure out a strategy and the things to do correctly so you can start measuring ROI or you're measuring ROI in the wrong ways like the number of likes that your page has. That is a vanity metric. That is not a metric to determine success. There are metrics inside of Facebook where Facebook can map the tendencies of a user and the engagement they have with their brand and map them and set a benchmark of their uh, ability to then recall something from your brand that they saw on Facebook, which makes them more valuable than somebody that just liked your page and never engages with your content. So there's a lot of different metrics that you should be measuring for success, but it, this is absolutely not a six month investment or a 12 month and be done investment. If you've invested in Facebook for 12 months, then you need to figure out how to make it work because the upside is huge where we have clients spending as little as $250 a month on Facebook lead ads where we're driving leads after we've built a strategy and engagement, we then leverage that to be able to drive leads. It's $250 a month, average $15,000 in pre-need sales from that. So super, super valuable. The upside is huge, but it only works when you follow the steps and you do it correctly. Otherwise, you're investing money and you're going, okay, we're pulling the plug after 12 months because we didn't see huge returns. That's not valuable. Uh, Facebook becomes effective 
as soon as you give it the respect that it is due and you actually treat it like a viable marketing outlet and not just a side thing that kids play on because it absolutely is not that. So if you want Facebook to be effective, then you need to make the dollar investment and make it a serious part of your marketing strategy. Then you will see the results and understand just how effective and how quickly Facebook can be effective. All right, that wraps up episode 47. I was probably a little rusty, but it feels good to get back on the couch and uh, answer some questions that we get on a reoccurring basis as we travel. So look for a lot more content coming from us now that we're back off the road for a little while. Um, a lot of exciting things happening in the funeral profession and this conversation is becoming uh, more understandable to a, a large majority of funeral professionals and there's some real serious players that are getting into the game and understanding the value social. And we also are working with a number of very small family owned funeral homes who are finding the opportunity to level the playing field with larger competitors and actually steal market share from those competitors in areas where they have not been able to do so before because of the underpriced attention that is available across Facebook. So until next time, keep disrupting.